what's going on this is greg back with another video today this is actually my second video today but this is what i call motivational sunday right I try to do something good for the people we talk all this football talk argue with haters and trolls but you know that's not what life is all about is it so i did a nice live today i, I asked you all to go check out my live i did i try to do lives like around noon on Sundays, kind of recapping the game from yesterday during the season. And we talked about the birth of the new Colorado. Man, it was good. You're missing out if you don't, if you haven't seen it, you better make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification, and make sure you don't miss because this is going to be a great season. We're not even halfway there yet. And man, it's really just getting started. Colorado's just now picking up steam. I did a recap video, my style after the game yesterday, which I usually do a video after the game, you definitely want to go and check that out too. So again, make sure you subscribe. If you want to hear some real football talk, you want to hear some what's real about Colorado and not recycling false information from haters, we're not going to tell you the truth anyway, you want to subscribe. But I'm being motivational right now because that's who I am really, right? I want to look at what can Colorado teach you about life? If you don't want this, something wrong with you. Because we can watch Colorado all day. But how does it help you? I'm going to look at my life, for example. Because of the great things Colorado's done and all the people around Colorado, it has made me step my game up to be, you know, the content creator I always have not been. I wanted to be a content creator. I had every excuse not to. I watch all the stuff. I follow the team just like you. But I was inspired. I hope you are inspired. I hope I inspire you to be the person you were made to be. Because at the end of the day, how does the, everything you experience, everything you put energy into, how does it help you in life? That's what I want to know. And I think it's a lot of nuggets that we really can really take in, take heed to from Colorado. For example, if you look at Colorado, the biggest complaint has been from week to week to make adjustments, right? They need to adjust this. They need to put players here. They need to move people there. They need to get rid of the coach. They need to do this. They need to know everybody has an opinion. But how does that apply to your life? What adjustments do you need to make? What changes you need to make to how you do things that can help you win in life, right? We can learn that from Colorado. I feel like they made the adjustments this week with USC. I feel like they made the adjustments from one half to another. The game was totally different when they made the adjustments. Another thing we can learn from Colorado, it's all about adversity, overcoming adversity. We look at, realistically, this game, four real starters, could would have been starters, out, injured. We know they lost the best and number one lineman at the beginning of the year, but every week they've been fighting. And they have a three and two record, playing really three top 20 teams, two top 10, right? And the two of the teams that just lost to the top in the conference, they've always been the top contenders in the conference, especially for this year. It wasn't Colorado. So they went up against a USC with all the adversity they could face. Shallow was out. Travis been out. Stockmire was another corner. He's out, right? And Slusher's been out. But they had to fight through adversity to get respect the least and they discovered a lot by fighting through adversity is yes, they discovered new weapons new players or roles like i i really really wanted to see and i knew it would be a good sign for this team they overcame adversity you don't know what life is going to throw at you in life you don't really know you don't know what stuff is going to be designed to set you back or really almost guarantee your failure but you got to be ready to deal with some adversity and colorado has shown us that See, it's a lot of stuff we can learn. Another thing, that don't give in, that don't quit. We've seen what happened in Oregon. They came back and fought this week. It looked like it was going to be the same thing, and they fought back and really put put some respect on their name because USC, it wasn't nobody. Some people say they look calm as a cucumber. No, 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 no. No, that's cool as a cucumber. But it looked like, you know, people wanted to believe that USC was not concerned, but I saw it. I saw it at Caleb Williams. They saw that momentum kicking in. Them boys came back 21 to zero, what, 35 or 34 to seven. And you think any other situation, most people would have quit, especially after just going through that last week. But they didn't. They kept fighting. 
and they almost fought enough to come back. They made one or two men, too many mistakes. And that's another thing you can learn. Mistakes do have a cost. It could have you blown out in life or it can cause you to barely miss it. Hopefully you learn from your mistakes because, you know, sometimes we hope that those mistakes are kind of like go by and you kind of get away with it. You can't keep banking on the fact that you're going to keep getting away with mistakes. You can't keep banking on the fact that you was bailed out before because eventually the mistakes going to catch up with you. And it almost doesn't count. A loss is a loss. You can't say, well, if we didn't make any mistakes, we would have won. Maybe. But they happen. You can't erase those mistakes on the scoreboard. You can't erase it on the scoreboard of life sometimes. So you got to be careful of the mistakes, which has a lot to do with preparation and planning. What Coach Prime preaches, he made players not be able to play because he said they don't practice well because he don't trust the fact that he's going to gamble on the fact. Now, you might get in the game and do well, but it's not necessarily guaranteed. So it's, it's smart enough to be able to bank on the fact that you're going to be trustable by what you do. That's a smart thing to do. He's not being reckless. He's not gambling. It's just it's just being real, right? Another thing that I like to say, Colorado's really showed me, and I was concerned about this, people will turn on you. They will turn on you. They, as quick as they jump on your bandwagon, they'll turn on you. As soon as you make a mistake, as soon as you uh, show them what they always thought about you, you just like, you better be perfect. They're not, especially people who are not really for you. They will turn on you at the drop of a dime. So they really weren't for you, but it was convenient for them to be for you. They're not willing to sacrifice for you. They're not, they're not willing to struggle with you and go through it with you because they're really not for you. And, and sometimes when, you, when you're going through adversity and in life, you're just going through the ups and downs, you're going to discover people who are not really for you that you thought were for you. Boy, that's a big one. That is one of the biggest ones. I mean, they, there was nobody. They beat TCU and everybody showed up. Everybody on social media is like overnight. I thought it would take two, three games. I was surprised. And then it's like everybody's, what about Oregon? What about USC? They was ready. They already had one foot out the door. You know, they was ready. And a lot of those people jump right back off. So do the haters. The haters, ready for you to fall. They quiet when you up. They ready to just pounce on you when you go down. People, man, you don't live for people. You better live for purpose. You better have your goals. And, man, you got to be focused because you can't use the expectations or even the knowledge of people because they just so fickle. They got their own issues. They probably don't even like themselves. More than likely don't, especially they're a hater because you, why are you hating on somebody else? Is your life good? You don't have the time or the desire to do so. So it says a lot. So, you know, you can't live for people. You can't, you know, it's, it's a entertainment and you have fans at the end of the day. You got to have something bigger than doing it for people because people will let you down and the bus will teach you that too. And speaking of, you know, the things that you really can learn, I think one thing the game taught us and one thing sports always teach you to do is build on your strengths, your strengths, your strengths and not your weaknesses. Everybody have weaknesses, but you have strengths too. Then one thing that they, they picked up in that second half is, man, they put a Marion Mill out there and man, once they realized that he couldn't be stopped, Feed them the ball. Feed them the ball. They're going to have to adjust their whole game. have to break the whole game down to stop them. Because you have to be able to build on your strengths. Your strengths. Your strengths. Find your strengths and build on your strengths. Because your strengths may be somebody else's weakness. But also, your strengths is the thing that will most likely allow you to win in the end. Because that's what you're good at. Not just good at, but that is your strength. Find your strength and everything else is going to have to adjust to you, especially if they want to stop you. But you're more likely to succeed with your strengths. Colorado has to do is find their strengths, their playmakers, their, 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 their mismatches, their, their unique you know, gifts and skills. And hopefully they line up with the weaknesses of another team. But last and foremost, we hear it all the time. I say trust in God. Now, everybody not religious, but guess what? When you're back against the wall, you're going to call something, right? And I'm not going to get into the whole who is God, what is God, and, you know, and all that. I ain't got to pacify. I say trust in God. At the end of the day, somebody created you, and that's all you got. If you want to win, you better have God on your side. Because when you're losing, people will leave you. And when you win, 
It's because what's inside of you. And God put that inside of you. You there. So you can't claim it. And when you go through enough in life, you will know it wasn't you. Because you would have never have failed if it was up to you. So through life adversities and all the challenges and adjustments, all the stuff we're talking about, you're going to find God, you know. But you're going to know you ain't God, too. Don't play with it. With that, Greg said it. Like, share, subscribe. Don't miss no other video. Go watch all my other videos. And I'll talk to you all soon.